Good morning, class. It's Miss Erica. Mr. V. It's Bella. It's Valentine. We miss you guys so much. It's been about two weeks since the last time we saw you, and we've been praying for you and thinking of you every day, and I hope you guys are thinking of us too. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Well, today we are going to focus on the, one of the most famous stories of the Bible. Does anybody know what it is? Bella? Jesus walks on water. Oh, wow. wow. Jesus walks on water. Does anybody know what book it's in? Valentine? Mark chapter 6, verse 45 through 52. That's awesome. awesome. Thanks, Good you know. job, Lee. That's so cool. Well, today we're going to start our study off, but first we're going to be praying. You want to pray for us, Valentine? Yes. Go for it. Thank you, Jesus, for the day, and we hope you have a good day. And everybody is blessed at church, and we pray that nobody gets hurt, and we all miss you, and we miss all our teachers, and amen. 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 Thank good you. job, Thank you. So before we start our study, we're going to start off with worship, one of our favorite songs in class. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. together sing a melody in your heart sing a melody in your heart sing a melody in your heart jesus is the king of peace thumbs out knees together bottoms out sing a melody in your heart sing a melody in your heart sing a melody in your heart jesus is the king of peace thumbs out knees together bottoms out way out sing a melody in your heart sing a melody Knees together, bottoms out, way out, chin up. Sing a melody in your heart. Sing a melody in your heart. Sing a melody in your heart. Jesus is the king of kings. Thumbs out, knees together, bottoms out, way out, chin up, tongue out. Sing a melody in your heart. Sing a melody in your heart. Sing a melody in your heart. Jesus is the king of kings. Yep, that's it. Yep. Oh, wow. That was awesome worship, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look. It's <laughs> look, guys. Worship is important and it's fun, but it's it's to worship our Father in heaven. And worship is so cool where we can just just sing to Jesus. Yes. Just ignore everything and just sing to Jesus. It's so cool. So like Miss Erica said, and Bella says, Jesus walks on water. If you think about it, have you ever seen anybody walk on water? No. No, I don't think so. But what an incredible miracle or experience that the disciples got to witness uh, in seeing Jesus walk walks on water. So look, parents, I encourage you guys, uh, this is going to be part of your homework, okay? So later on, after this, Turn off the TV, uh, get your Bibles, ignore everything, and turn to the book of Mark, chapter 6, verses 45 to 52, like little B said. And, and just go through it. And, 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 and I'm going to go over it a little bit um, about Jesus walks on water. So remember, it's, it's, there's a lot going on right now, kids. And we want to encourage you guys that that to focus on the Lord, focus on Jesus. So I'm going to read verses 48 and 50 if you have your Bibles and, and just gives you a little idea of what's going on during this time. So then he saw them sh straining and roaring for the wind was against them. So remember, the disciples are in the boat. It's a storm. The boat is rocky. It's scary. It's late at night. And now about the fourth watch of the night. The fourth watch could be about 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. It's super cold. It's dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and, it, and it's just a scary moment. But that's, that's what God wants us to remember. That even though our boat in life, of what's going on, Jesus wants us to focus on him. And 
And now about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea and would have passed them by. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it was a ghost. Look, kids, at first they didn't know it was Jesus. They were scared. They didn't know what to think. It could have been a ghost. What is just a moment where they're just all scared. Everything is going on. They're just not focused. They're scared. Um, and cried out for they all saw him and were troubled. But immediately he talked with them and said to them, Bella, what did uh, Jesus say to the disciples? Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Mark chapter 6 verse 15. Look, during this time while the boat is rocking, it's super late at night. The disciples are scared and Jesus says, be a good cheer. It is I and do not be afraid. Look, parents, kids, with everything that's going on right now, or even something you've gone through before, God wants us to be a good cheer. God wants us to focus on him. You know, that boat's going to rock, but God wants to get us through that storm. God wants to teach us. He wants to build us up, and he's encouraging us to just be a good cheer. We know it's not easy, but when we put our trust in God, God will get us through this storm. Yeah. Parents, I encourage you, like I said earlier, teach and read Mark chapter 6, verse 45 to 52. And just remember that even though the boat is rocking right now, God is with us. Yeah. He's always with us, even through times like this. God is teaching us something. We love you guys. I want I want to get phone calls. I want to get more phone calls. Miss Erica wants to get yeah. more phone calls, okay? Call, me. Call us. We love you guys. Um, and just let us know what you guys think. Let us know what God is teaching us through his word. So, Bella, would you want to close in prayer for us, baby? Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, Lord, thank you for this day. I hope no one gets sick, and I hope that you guys wash your hands, and I hope you can come back to church soon so then we can be with each other. And we love all the teachers in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good Bye, job. Bye, guys. We, we love, love you guys. You. But love Jesus you. loves you more. Pray for our church. Pray for each other. Wash your hands, kiddos. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.